Get some fish, eh? Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Just with my good mate Riley. My love. <laughs> just gonna head out for a dive today. Just launched at Corumban. Gonna head out to the reef. What is it? Nearly start of September. It's gone into spring, eh? Yeah, start of spring. So not really too sure what we might see out there. It's a glorious day though. It's a beautiful day. Not much swell. Looks pretty blue from the from the shore, so yeah, we'll get out there and suss it out. Hopefully get some fish for dinner. Yum yum. See you out there. Pew. Cray. Oh, wow. Just grabbed it. Nice little cray. Not bad for the first dive. Put it in the esky and get back out there. Lost a cray. No. That was a cool dive. Keep an eye out for crays. That was sitting on top of the rock. It was at the end of my breath, so I, I rushed it, but they're around. There's a big parrotfish down there. Really? Yeah, I was just staying out of range though. So it's pretty spooky. I reckon another couple of dives here. There should be some blue groper around, I reckon. Shot though, straight in the gut. Good cray, man. That's nice. Beautiful, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Sick, dude. Good stuff. Oh, now we both got one, bro. Yeah, That's boy. Nice. Oh, good, man. Thanks for getting my spear. <laughs> All right, let's go to the boat. We'll change spots.
Wahoo! Oh my gosh, bro. Big fish. It might drag me a bit. I got on my tail reel. I need a float. Get me the float. The floating. Huh? Yes. Load us a gun! Oh my gosh! It's massive! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, maybe put it back in the water, it's pissing out blood. Holy shit, tell me the story of that. So wait, tell me, tell me what happened. Yeah, so, I don't, I was breathing up, and then it just, I saw it in the corner of my eye, I was like, holy frig, that's a massive wahoo. Dove down to like two meters, and then it was just staying sort of out of range, and I kicked after it, turned side on, gave me a shot, plugged it in the middle of the body, and I thought it was a shit shot, because it didn't even kick off much, it just sort of went like that. And then, as soon as I put a bit of pressure on it, it just, the reel just screamed. Bro, look, I can't, like, this the is weight a massive my... fish, dude. Oh my. Like, that's that the a... biggest fish I've ever seen. That is a massive fish. <laughs> Woohoo! Holy doy! That is what dreams are made of, Gene. What a fish! What a fish! Far out, bro. Well done. I mean, look at the gear that has to go into getting a fish like that. I guess that's why you carry a freaking belt reel, eh? In moments like that. First time I've ever had to use my belt reel, and I'm so glad I had it on there. Otherwise, I probably would have lost this thing. It's just a massive fish. <laughs> All right, let's 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 head in and get this thing on ice so we can harvest it and feed a lot of families. That fish flogged me. It took that much line. You can see it's everywhere, all over the boat. I'm just keeping the fish under a towel to keep the sun off it. I'm gonna have to borrow one of my mate Reese's eskies. He's got a nice big esky, so hopefully it fits in that. Pack with ice. Oh, what I think a fish. I know why they call it like Wahoo now. Because when you just get one, you're just like, Wahoo! <laughs> <laughs> so true. Oh, that is epic. I can't describe the feeling of seeing a fish like that underwater. She's a bit heavier now with that big Wahoo in there. <laughs> hey, you shot the fish. I'm, I'm, I'm doing all the work just to get the slab. <laughs> Well, definitely didn't fit in the esky. Pretty much on its nose. One sixty-two to the fork of the tail. Struggling to lift this thing up. I think it's more than thirty kilos. I'm gonna have to chop the head and tail off to fit it in there. Look at that meat. It's a big tail. It's probably a kilo there. Yeah, there we go. Whoa. 
hole. That's its guts. I'll cut those out too. I don't really want to rinse it with fresh water, but I just want to clean all the guts and shit off it. Should do it too tomorrow morning. Should get it nice and cold and then we'll fill it up and go from there. But also got those crays and blue groper, so nice little blue groper. It's Riley's cray you got and the cray I got. There's gonna be an absolute nightmare to clean up. I'm just checking my belt reel now. That is the worst way to tie your line to your belt reel. That could have snapped so easy. It's just held on by that tiny little bit of plastic there. This is my reel on my gun. You can see that's how you should connect reel line to the reel. So it fully loops around. Man, so many things just have to align perfectly to land a fish like that. Could have snapped off, pulled through. I know it got sharked. So many things could have happened to lose that fish, but it's my lucky day. So now the next day, fish has been on ice all night. Should be really nice and cold. Plan is to fillet it, skin it, and vacuum seal it, and either freeze it or give it away fresh. <sighs> Get it nice and clean. Wow. That's some primo sashimi right there. Freezer up for quite a few months, I reckon. So, yeah, be eating a lot of fish. <laughs> 